Okay guys, welcome to topic three. In topic three, we're going to tackle multiplication. Now, in topic two, we ended talking about two properties, the commutative and the associative property. Now, both those properties also transfer over to multiplication because multiplication and addition, they're kind of like brothers. What works for one usually works for the other. Um, we're also going to introduce two other topics the zero and the identity property. But let's start off with two already known properties. We're going to start off with the commutative property. The commutative property of multiplication states the same thing. You can multiply numbers in any order and get the same, exam or same answer. So for example, we're going to take this three times two. It's a very, very simple multiplication problem. We all know three times two, the product of that is going to be six. Now, if we flip those numbers around, we move them, because commute means to move, we're going to get the same answer. So 3 times 2 is 6, whereas 2 times 3 is also 6. That is the commutative property. Notice the numbers are in different spots. Okay, The associative property can sometimes fool people. The associative property deals with at least three numbers. Um, and it does not change order. Rather, it just groups them differently. So let's start off with that 3 times 2 again, but let's add in a 4 at the end. So 3 times 2 times 4. Now, the associative property states we can add those in any order. All right. We can group them differently, and we're going to get the same answer. What do I mean? We're going to use parentheses. So we're going to take that 3 times 2 first. 3 times 2 is 6, and then we're going to take that 4. So 6 times 4 is 24. But watch what happens here when I move those parentheses over. When I move those parentheses over to the 2 times 4, I do that first because of PEMDAS. So 2 times 4 is 8, okay? And we take that 8 times 3 and we still get 24. That is the associative property. So notice when you see the parentheses in those three numbers, you know you're going to get uh, associative property because of the grouping, whereas commutative property deals with numbers switched around. You could still have three numbers, they're just not in the same place. The next property is called the identity property of multiplication. Now this is one of the easier properties. The next two actually are quite easy. The identity property just states that when you multiply a number by one, it does not change its identity. It doesn't matter what that number is, or how big or how small that number is, it will not change its identity. What I mean, let's take another simple one. Four times one is four. We, we started in second grade, third grade doing multiplication, and we were taught that anything times one is itself. That's the identity property. So 15 times 1 is going to give me 15. It doesn't matter what it is. On the reverse of that, we have the zero property. Uh, anything times zero is always, always, always going to be zero. It doesn't matter if you're given a really, really long problem. If there is one zero in there, it's going to be zero. So 6 times zero is going to be zero. If I give you a problem like 15 times 1 times 3 times 9 times 15 times 0 times 4 times 3 times 1, you say, well, how am I going to do that in my head? Well, if you listen closely, there's a 0. So as long as there's one 0 in that problem, the answer is 0. Right now, at the end of this video, I'm going I'm to give you four questions. I want you to identify the property in which they are illustrating.